today we're doing something a bit more adventurous. We're off going to get a beach buggy and explore probably the southeast of Cyprus. Um, we're at the Dome Hotel, which is just west of Ayanapa. It's just on the outskirts of Ayanapa, so it's a bit more quieter. Obviously, if you want to be in the thick of it, then you go a bit further east. So it's about half nine in the morning. We've just had breakfast and you need your driver's license and I think just one passport and obviously paying full. The range from, what would you say, Dave? I'm about uh, 90, 90 right up to about 200. 200, depending on the CC, depending on the number of seats. There's yeah. two seats, there's one seat, there's four, four seats. You can even have kids in them with car seats. We've gone for quite a low down one with bucket seats, but we're going to have a look at that. If I don't feel like it's, um, sorry, I'm just watch it road. If I don't feel like it's suited, then we'll probably have a look at some more. And then come and join us for a day of adventure around Cyprus. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I So our first stop from our buggies is the sea caves You can get down to it and get the amazing photo like these guys are doing But knowing my luck with how clumsy I am I'll probably fall either cut my leg open or fall into the sea <laughs> and David be like yay <laughs> so I'll just show you a view what I like laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes laughing with my friends under the sky following our hearts so then we take a ride wherever I always try to let my spirit fly doing debating which way to go yeah one last look over there you see right over there just about there is the marina where we've just come from sculpture park is just above us just there where we if you'd have seen us previous vlog you'd have seen us on that on his way to taurus i think that's probably where we're heading now isn't it yeah that so if we go that way what we're gonna do head back to his jeep I'm going to call it a Jeep. <laughs> I'll call it a Jeep. And then we'll get the map out and we'll have a look. Take some decent shoes with you because it is all rocky, very rocky. And we're going to go the coastal road, I think. Woo. And this is beep, a beep beep. beep. <laughs> yeah, get alarm off. <laughs> Yeah, so this is Polaris. What is it? See, un, a thousand cc. Anybody who's interested. And Dave's taking his crook lock off. Yep. And I'll show you inside. I mean, I don't know what this is for me, for when Dave goes white knuckle ride. Ah! <laughs> yeah, so. Highly recommend getting one of these so you can see this part of the island, wouldn't you? Yeah. You can take the bus, but it doesn't take you around here. And what's most fun is when we start getting lost. Well, we've got a map. <laughs> Checking tyres, give them a kick. Yeah. We've got a map, we've got a sat nav, we've got a phone, Google Maps. We're sound. There we go. Oh. That is a slightly different one. Is it? They've got is it? It's not envy, is it? Car envy? <laughs> no, no, that's anyway. small. Ah, we've got a bigger one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to show you this. We've got a lady there, Instagram. Woohoo! Why not? Right, and we are off. <laughs> this is an automatic. And I'm going to put the phone down because there's no way you're going to hear me and there's probably no way <laughs> I'm going to be able to hold on to it. So see you when we get to the next destination.
sweat. <laughs> Look at the state of this. Anyway, I've just got here all on my own. Dave's up there just chilling and I have decided to just have a quick walk to have a look round. I will show you in a second but it's an exhilarating <laughs> ride up here. Don't wear a hat, you'll lose it in the first five seconds. You can't go on motorways, just go anywhere you want basically. I'm sure somebody will soon tell you if you're going wrong way. When coming up here we're a convoy, oh you will have seen pictures and video, there was loads of us. We've just decided it's a bit hot to go right to the top there. You can get your cars up here to about there and then right at the top you can see somebody and imagine the views from there are amazing. And there is little Dave just waiting in the car. <laughs> and this is the view and it is absolutely beautiful this camera will probably not do it justice but i'm going to go back now i'm going to get some water and then we're going to head back down here and then around again and to another destination hey now honey i've been driving around in my car looking for some kind of open bar it's gonna be all right gonna be all right got no money but i'll work it out with my charm having a good time and doing no harm it's gonna be all right gonna be all right hey now honey i've been driving around in my car looking for some kind of open bar it's gonna be all right gonna be all right got no money but i'll work it out with my charm down to the caves but I think obviously these caves are better if you're on one of those boats aren't they but equally as beautiful up here you can jump in the water nice and clear isn't it gorgeous we have walked down these steps <laughs> and now we got to walk back up them to the sculpture park just to have a look round. absolutely massive interculture I definitely come here look at all these and it literally goes all the way around and there's little plaques on each one telling you about the artist when it was erected what nationality there's some really funny ones as well and some really unique ones some that you have to look at twice and <laughs> wonder what they are and then if you look behind me look at that view the Bridge of Love is down there somewhere and on the opposite side is the caves and then further up north it'd be Pataras and then further up north from that is the border into the Turkish side but we didn't get that far up. We've just had a lovely meal in a little taverna um, surrounded by cats which is typical. I'm sure the cats know that Dave's allergic to them, aren't they Dave? Yeah. Definitely. So we're going to <laughs> they do. I'm going to head back into the beach buggy and head nearer to our hotel and then I think we're going to drop it off about six o'clock tonight before they close otherwise we're not driving in dark anyway and it would only sit in the car park in the hotel and I just think it's better to have it 
back to its owners and apparently somebody else has got it rented out for half past nine so we'd have to get up pretty early and it is technically our last full day isn't it, before we go home on Saturday so we don't have to be rushing so we are going to go and enjoy the race maybe head to a beach and then back to the hotel Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away 